Returning from the jewel pits and angered at Tarzan's indifference to her repeated advances, Atea, White Queen of Tor, tells Jeanette Burton that when Mungo has killed the ape man in the public arena, she, Jeanette, will become the Yellow Chief's mate. Wong Tai and Mungo have selected from the pit slaves those to be sacrificed in the Feast of Pantu games. From Wong Tai, Tarzan and O'Rourke learn of Jeanette's impending fate and also of Darno and Uka's final escape from the Torian patrol. In the jungle, the elephant upon which Darno and Uka are mounted joins a stampede of wild elephants. Uka eventually succeeds in working their frightened mount out of the herd and bringing it to a stop beside a water hole. As they lie stretched on the ground resting, the elephant runs off, leaving them once more afoot and still far from Rator. In the distance, coming swiftly toward them, they discover a mounted patrol. Quickly, they make for a vine-draped photocarpus tree as the patrol nears the water hole. Quick, Dono, to the broad limb just above your head. The leaves will screen us. Oh, thank le bon Dieu. It is still too dark for them to see clearly. Ah, voila. This limb will hold us both. They will remain at the water hole until daybreak, then probably try to pick up our trail. It is already growing light over there in the east. But how could they have followed us to this spot and so quickly? It may be that they came down the river by accident, heard the stampede or saw signs of it, and believing that we followed the elephants to cover our own track. But here they come. Listen, wait. By the gods of Rotor. Rotor! Uka Ningashan! Winda Mani! Mon Dieu, Guy, have you gone mad? Those men will kill us. Come, Dono. It is my father, the son of Rotor. Oh, grâce au bon Dieu. Quel bon chant. A wonga, a wonga, I the gods of Rotor, my father. We mistook you for Torians. Make haste, Dano. May, mon vieux, I, I am coming as fast as I can. Ah, you caro manic. Ah, you're a taku nangrok, a wonga ningo. Oh, and I am glad to see you, my father. This is Paul Dano, my good friend. Extend to him the hand of friendship. And speak in the tongue of the Anglos. Welcome, Paul Darno. Thrice welcome is the friend of the son I have long since counted among the dead. Oh, vous êtes bienvenu, monsieur. Sir. You and your patrol are the welcome ones, sir. We heard you coming and thought it was the Torian patrol from which we escaped last night. It is fortunate that we came this way, my son, in our hunt for elephants. We crossed the spoor of a stampeding herd but a short distance from here and came to this place to await daybreak before taking up the chase. And that was probably the same herd we were with, Uka. Yes, Dono. After escaping from the Torians, father, our elephant joined a stampede and ran with them to this spot. When we dismounted to rest, he ran off. But how did you manage to escape from Tor with an elephant? Through a friend. The elephant we found in the Torian jungle stockade last night. The patrol followed us to the Nuniki River where they lost us. And you, my son, have been prisoner of the Torians these months that you thought you were dead? Yes, as a slave in the Torian jewel pits. Two attacks on Tor have I led, and twice have our warriors been repulsed at the very gates. The city of Tor is impregnable. Yet another attack must be made at once, my father, before the Torians celebrate the Feast of Pantu. The Feast of Pantu? Impossible. Only five days in which to gather our armies and return to the attack. It cannot be done, my son. I have given my word, Father. Mm. Then you must keep it. To whom have you given the word? To him who made it possible for us to escape from that evil city. To Tarzan of the Apes. A mighty warrior and killer of beasts who has twice saved my life. He, with two worthy companions, will die during the Feast of Pan, too. Unless we save them. Then there is no time to be lost. We ride at once for Rator. Doom! Ratore! Andaka Rator! Tayo! Uka, my son. And this time, we will enter the city of Tor somehow. But Uka has forgotten to tell you, Monsieur Lachan, that if we arrive in time, Tarzan will see to it that the main gates are opened for us. <laughs> 
Then, Paul Dano, may their vile gods protect them. The patrol is ready, my father. Come, then. Buka Ratori, Khan Daka. sunlight, the city of Tor lies glittering in the jungle. The first burning rays spill long blue shadows across the toiling, sweat-covered backs of the jewel pit slaves. Tarzan and O'Rourke, the latter wearing around his neck the golden collar of a chosen lion slave, discuss the escape of Darno and Uka and the unhappy fate awaiting Jeanette. Yes, Tarzan. If our plan with the slaves fail, you'll have to bait that big yellow hulk to death. You're thinking about Jeanette, my friend? Uh, and why shouldn't I? If we fail here and, and you have to fight Mungo and he kills you, her lot will be worse than death. And yours, O'Rourke, the lion pit. Oh, I'm not thinking about myself. Tis Jeanette I'm worrying about. Why not wait until it's time to worry? If our plans work out, I doubt if it will ever come to a fight between Mungo and me. At least, not in the arena. But without the Lieutenant Anuka and the Ratorians, we can't hope to capture the city even with all the slaves at our backs. Aye, no them two only makes it. There are still four or five days before the games, my friend. Anything can happen in that time. Why do you suppose Wong came back to tell us... Oh, about, about Jeanette, you mean? <laughs> Rubbing it in, he was. The slant-eyed head and knew the telling me what a tears fixed up for Jeanette would hurt. And me helpless to do nothing but stew here in me own juice. Ah, bad cess to the chink, says I. But why did he tell us about Darno and Uka escaping? Why did he do that? Faith, I never was good at riddles. But whatever his object, he can gamble there's dirty men the back of it. Hmm. I wonder. Faith, will you look at them two they're bringing in? Don't we know the big fellow? Lutan, chief of elephant men. In chains they are. And Bigari, both wearing the golden collar. Now, what the devil can that mean, do you think? Teorokaldaktolo. <laughs> Is a pit slave Mr. Rutang becomes. <laughs> well, if tis any consolation to him, he won't be here long with that golden collar round his neck. They're in our group, O'Rourke. What do you make of that? Sure, and I don't know. But by the looks he's given us, tis none too friendly he'll be. Holy St. Patrick, Tarzan, do ye mean a tear may have put him here as a spy? Perhaps. But I doubt if I'd pay a trustful tang now, since Darno and Uka escaped while they were in his charge. Escape from the elephant paddock, ye mean. Ah, I see. For letting them two run out from under his nose, a tear slaps him in chains and, and fades him to her lions, eh? He's chained next to you. Talk to him when you get the chance. Find out, if you can, why he's here. Yeah. Rutang. At the low-voiced call, the erstwhile chief of elephant men turns smoldering, hate-filled eyes upon O'Rourke. He moves close. Suddenly, without warning, he leaps straight at the Irishman. His great hands encircle O'Rourke's neck and bear him gasping, choking to the ground. In the palace, Atea has returned to her chamber from an early conference in the great audience hall where, with her chiefs and nobles, she has completed the final arrangement for the Feast of Pantu Games. She calls for Tanya, her favorite mute slave, and Jeanette Burton. While they remove her ceremonial robes, she talks eagerly of the coming celebration. And the games will be entertaining. There will be racing, wrestling, and many death combats. Mungo is very anxious to meet the mighty Tarzan. 
and there will be many slaves for the lion pit. <laughs> it should be interesting. Yes, Your Majesty. It should be very interesting to watch the man you profess to love being killed by a savage brute. <laughs> but, my dear, your Tarzan is very strong. He is a mighty warrior who kills savage beasts with his bare hands. Remember how easily he vanquished Tongo, chief of the clawmen? Oh, but Mungo, he's much stronger than Tarzan, and so very much bigger. And yet he claimed the ancient right of Thor on Mungo and challenged him to combat. Oh, that was because it was Mungo's spear that killed my uncle. Oh, listen, I tell you, it isn't Tarzan that I love. I swear it isn't. Then why does he wish to leave Thor and me to go with you? Oh, it isn't that he wants to leave Thor. Not with me. It's because he has given his word to see us to safety. Oh, believe me, Artea, that's the truth. Perhaps I do believe you, Jeanette Burton, now. But if it is not Tarzan, who? Paul Dano? No. No, it's, it's Terence O'Rourke. O'Rourke? Mm -hmm. The red-haired one? <laughs> then, my dear, you shall see your lover fight in the arena with... <laughs> Terry? In the arena? <laughs> With whom? That you will see for yourself. I shall not spoil your surprise by telling you now. But by the word of Atea, Queen of Thor, the High Priestess of Pantu, if the red-haired one be victorious in his combat, you shall have him. But, <laughs> but Atea, tell me. No. Later you shall see for yourself. And now I wish to decide on the jewels I am to wear at the games. We shall visit my jewel cavern. Oh, what is it you say, Jeanette Burton? Did you not hear me? Why, I... Ye yes, I heard. We shall go at once, before my noonday rest. The key is here, in this little casket. Now I... Atta, Pantu! The key to the jewel cave! It is gone! Gone? Why, Why? how could it... Perhaps you misplaced it. Have you opened this casket, Janet Burton, after my telling you never to touch it? I haven't been in this room since you called Tanya and me this morning, before the audience. Then someone has stolen it. Tanya! Calling the women, all of them! They shall be searched. And you, Jeanette Burton.